Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. I recently um, yeah, configured a new home server for myself. I bought a Fujitsu Esprimo Q920 mini computer for that and I replaced the internal SSD, the small SSD with a much bigger regular hard drive with five terabytes of data. And well, everything worked well. Uh, I used Linux and OpenSUSE as um, operating system and everything worked. However, I figured out that the hard disk was not going into standby, which leads to much higher power consumption than it needs to be. It's around five to six watts uh, that the hard disk is needing uh, when it's running. And well, I thought to myself, this is not necessary. I mean, the server is really not working around the clock, so the hard disk should go into standby. And here are the steps which I used to do that. Um, it's for OpenSUSE, but it just should work similar on different operating systems like Ubuntu. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first step is to install the package TLP. And as you can see, all the steps are also here in this blog post. So you can just click the link below in the video description and copy all the links. Well, TLP is a package to optimize Linux laptop battery life. Well, it is originally it was developed for uh, laptop computers. However, it also works on regular desktop computers just as good. So let's install that. Uh, in my case here, it's sudo zipper install TLP. I will do that here. And for other operating systems like Ubuntu, well, you just do sudo apt-get install TLP. And now it's installing. Okay, now it's installed and uh, the first step is to figure out which uh, hard disk devices are here in my system with their IDs and names. So I type in LSBLK and this gives me an overview about the hard disks here in my computer. And as you can see here, I have one hard disk called SDA and we will need this name for the configuration of TLP. Okay, TLP is configured via this configuration file here in etctlp.conf. So I will just copy this one here over and then edit it with pseudo writes and my favorite editor. You can either use Wim, Nano or any other editor. And root password, here we go. And as you can see, uh, th there's a lot of information in this file. There are a lot of commands. You can go through all of them and, well, uh, configure them for your device. In our case, uh, we only want to enable TLP first. So everything is commented out by default and nothing is active. So let's activate it here by TLP enable one and the next thing we need to do is to find the disk devices section here in this file so i will just scroll down a little bit where is it there it is disk devices here and same procedure we remove the has hashtag in front in the front and then we can see the devices which are configured in our case um, as per default there are two devices in here which basically well work for almost every standard laptop and computer. So we have this ID here and also our SDA, which we just figured out that this is our disk drive here on this computer. And the next thing we need to do is to command these two in here, disk APM level on AC and disk level on battery. Well, in my case, it's always running on AC because it's a desktop computer. For laptop computers, these values values are here also well effective. Okay, we have two values in here. Um, as you can see, they differ for AC and battery. And for battery, this is set to 128. And as you can see, there are two values in here, which basically are the values here for the disk devices. So the first setting here is effective for this one here and the second value for the second one. And for example, if you want to enter a third hard drive, you would type in something like that and you would add another value here. Okay, let's remove that. And now you might ask yourself what setting is best here. And let's have a look here on this page here. I will 
also put the link in the video description. There are some explanations here what each number represents. And as you can see, 254 minimum power saving and maximum performance, which is a default setting here for AC. And 128 is a compromise between power saving and wear and performance. So that's the value I want to use as well uh, for my AC. So I will type in these values here. And basically what this does is uh, after around 10 minutes, uh, the hard disk will turn off if not active. Okay, let's save the file. And now we have to activate the TLP service here in our system. So I will just type in sudo system CTL enable TLP, which will enable the service. And then I have to start the service. Here we go. And now the TLP service is running and our hard disk, hard disk should now turn off after some amount of time. If you want to check it out, you can use this command here and see the drive state for this computer. Okay, well, basically, that's it. That's yeah, how you can um, configure hard disk standby in Linux if your system does not send the hard disk to standby. Okay, goodbye.